Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at one example of problem solving. Here's the question. Bill Gates approaches you with a super secret mission for the next 30 days. He is willing to compensate you tax-free in one of two ways. Option one, he will give you a million dollars at the end of the 30 days. Option two, he will give you a penny on the first day and double it each subsequent day for the 30 days. Which option do you choose? Okay, hopefully you've had some time to think about it and if you were just waiting for me, uh, hit pause and try again to decide which one's better. Option one, the one million dollars, or option two, one penny on the first day and then it doubles each subsequent day. So that means day two you would get two pennies, day three you would get th four pennies because that's doubling the, the two pennies from the previous day. Okay, so I think I understand the question. You might already have your guess. Some people just opt for option one because, well, it's a million dollars and that's kind of nice. I'd like a million dollars, so why not? But I think we should further investigate option two. So you get one penny on the first day, two on the second, four on the third. I think one thing we want to do is create a table to kind of represent this. And then also we'll use some other techniques. I think we're going to want to look for a pattern, maybe try to find an equation to help us figure this option two out. So let's look at option two. Well, well the table will just show the first week, the money received, but then the total amount that you've earned, because remember you're getting one penny on the first day and two the second, that's a total of three cents that you now have on that second day. And then the third day would be four cents, the fourth day would be eight cents, but again, the total would be 15 cents because you would add these all up to give you 15. And then 16 cents, the fifth day would give you 31 cents total, so on and so forth. Um, and you can see by the end of the first week, you've officially made your first dollar. Congratulations. Um, so that's very helpful. So far, it's not looking promising. I think the million dollars looks better thus far. But let's see what we can figure out. You may notice that this is the money received. We'll focus on the money received. The money received is a geometric sequence. We have a first term. Our first term, that would be A sub 1, is one penny. And we have a common ratio, right? Because every day, it's getting doubled. It's multiplying by 2 and multiplying by 2 and multiplying by 2. So our common ratio is 2. For a geometric sequence, we can apply the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. In this case, what are we interested in? We're interested in what's going to happen on that 30th day. So we would say a sub 30 is equal to a sub 1, 1 penny, times 2 to the 30 minus 1. Following order of operations, we want to do 30 minus 1 in our head or do that first. That would really be 2 to the 29th instead. And then if you do 2 to the 29th times 1 penny, so I'm going to come over here and say a sub 30. On that 30th day, you will be receiving $5,368,000, well, and $709, excuse me, and 12 cents. So that's what you'll receive on the 30th day. You still want to go for the million dollars? Look at this. On the 30th day, Bill Gates is going to give you $5 million dollars. Now that's great, but that's not all. That's just the amount you receive on the 30th day. Don't forget you also received half this value the day before and a quarter of this value the day before that. So the question is, how much money do you end up with in total? I think I explain it here. So I also found uh, another pattern here. And if we go back to the table, so I kind of explained it here, but if we go back to the table for one second, sorry to go back and forth. If you look at the total earned, it's always one, let's see, let's see. We have one, six, bleh, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied here. One penny is one penny less than two pennies. Three pennies is one penny less than four pennies. Seven is one less than eight. 15 is one less than 16. So actually, it looks like this column is a geometric sequence, but then we have to subtract one penny. And that would be, so the 1.27, we don't see the 1.28, but that would be on the eighth day. 
So what we could say about this total earned column is that it's kind of like the geometric sequence. If we looked at the 31st day, the amount that we earned on the 31st day and then subtracted one penny from it, that would tell us the grand total. So the grand total would be, and I think it's on the next slide, so let me, let's go there. It would be two cents times two to the 30 minus one. Oh, I see, I got, I got tricky there and I used the 30 instead of 31. But we could also do the one penny in the 31, but either way, it doesn't matter. And the grand total that you'll end up getting if you choose option two is $10,737,418.23. I think I'll go with option two.